Hey hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade or upstream your kernel version. So have fun. Hey guys, so the first thing you need to do is check your own kernel version. Now, I am currently running 3.10.65 version. Now, we need to check which version can be upgraded to, like 3.10.x. So for that, we'll go to kernel.org. I'll have all the links in the description below. Check your 3.10.x version, so the latest one is 102. Now we need to upgrade it. So go to browse, click this link. Now we'll add a remote to any of these three Git repositories. They are the same, just on different servers. So I'll copy, you can copy any of these and we'll type here git remote add update this is just the name and paste the link press enter now type git fetch update hit enter So now we are done adding the remote to our directory. Okay, so now as we are done adding the remote and fetching it, now we'll upgrade our kernel version. For that, as I said, I'm on kernel version 3.10.65 and the latest version was 3.10.102. But we won't directly upgrade to that version because, because that'll cause a lot of conflicts and we don't want that. So we'll upstream our kernel version by version or two three versions at a time so for that i'll type get merge v3 point okay i didn't type that v3.10.67 hit enter okay so now we are done with it now type get status this will show us our conflicts so we have a conflict in this file so we'll browse to this file so this file you need to just browse to this directory and here you will find this file now how you resolve a conflict all you do is find and file these arrows so once you do that Okay, so once you find the conflict, you will find a head and the changes that you have made. So now you need to do a little bit of thinking. Use a common logic. Use your programming mind and figure out which changes you need to keep and which changes you need to remove. Let me just think about it. Okay. So... Alright, so we'll use this one, mm, save it, control S, all changes have been saved. Now all you do is git add this file name, copy it, paste it, maybe I've left a space there, enter. Now git status. Now once you have all conflicts resolved, all you need to do is get commit press control x Ok guys, so once you are done with resolving all those conflicts and committing it, all you need to do is compile a kernel if you don't know how to compile a kernel, I've made a previous video about that. You can click the right hand box which is popping up right now. Check it out. And now you know how to upgrade your kernel version. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and comment your reviews. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.